Er ist eine riesige Figur, der Kevin Klein. Er ist ein Hautegen, ein Krieger und vor allem hat er viel Charisma. Er hat 700 NHL-Spiele für Nashville und New York Rangers auf dem Buckel. Seit letzter Saison ist er bei der ZSC Lions ist Meister und Playoff-MVP geworden. Und eigentlich hat er dann seine Karriere beendet. You find your how you can lead and be a voice and you fit in and you, and you, get, and you share your wealth of knowledge and your experience. Er hat gleich weiter gemacht. Zum Glück, sonst hätten wir ihn ja gar nicht mehr treffen Ja, ja, das ist er, der Kevin Klein. Er ist nicht nur Hockeyspieler, sondern auch noch ein riesiger Klötterin. Alte Autos restaurieren, Mannschaftsbüsse pimpen oder Messer schmieden. Er kann es. Wir haben eine Werkstatt organisiert für das Gespräch. Er soll sich ja eigentlich wie die Hause fühlen. So I saw you uh, working on your knife, and it's really just tutorial work where you got this all from. Yeah, until uh, until today, I guess. <laughs> Which is nice having someone who knows what he's doing and can uh, correct your mistakes and teach you things at the same time. Um, I work on a lot smaller anvil. I don't have a coal forge. I don't have a power hammer. Um, so it's just me in the front yard banging away and making mistakes and probably doing things backwards. But eventually you get there and then you take out your imperfections on the grinder. Mm -hmm. But I do a lot more grinding than uh, you know, coming to something like this where you can forge mm. properly. You love woodwork, you love metalwork, you love working on cars. How did you uh, become this handyman? Um, probably, I just, you know, things gravity, things you enjoy, it's tough to explain sometimes. They just grab you, grab a hold of you. But my dad was always very hands-on, doing everything around the house. Um, you know, he was our handyman. So, um, I. It's probably part genetics, part just uh, my inquisitive nature. Um, I've always loved to work with my hands. Is it all things that fascinate you or? Yeah, I don't have a, I mean, I've been mainly knife making. I'm not a knife collector. I actually haven't made one for myself. This, uh, I make them for people, for fun. I love the craft more than anything. Um, so yeah, but I, you know, when I'm online looking at videos of these guys, I mean, it's not one thing. It's just seeing these masters at work and, and enjoying the process and the history. You're wandering around uh, the world as a hockey player. Do you miss having a home sometimes and organize your shop with all your uh, metalwork stuff? Yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons I came over to Switzerland as a, as a transition. Originally, um, just to have more time with family and be, sleep in my own bed every night, um, not all over North America. And now you get to a point where you're like, okay, you can see 
you know, I could, I, I could play maybe a few more years. I think I have it in me, but uh, mentally, I, you know, you, you look forward to a lot of things and um, letting my creative self come out, um, being, my wife being able to do her stuff, and the kids having a, a solid home for once. So um, giving that to them is, and myself and my wife is, is very, you know, that's kind of where I come from now. It uh, feels like that it is a definite uh, no, a definite uh, my career will stop after this season. Uh, what did hockey give you? Uh, the ability to change what I'm doing uh, when I want, so I'm thankful for that obviously. Uh, I moved away from when I was 15 and, and that's all I've known. So in that sense, it's a little scary, but at the same time it's, it's exciting. Like I've, I haven't been this excited to do something in a long time. So to be able to, as you're young, you don't really think about it. You just kind of go and people say, oh, you can make a good living doing this. And, um, you know, and you meet lots of good people and, and you have fun competing. And, and I've always been a competitor. So will that be hard? Probably. And the team atmosphere um, is big because it's tough to replicate that after your career. But um, I know what I like to do. I know, know that I'm able to do it soon, and, and that's exciting too. Mm -hmm. You've worked in a team for years. Will you miss this team spirit? Oh, oh yeah, definitely. I told my wife that she better be used to me like making fun of her. And <laughs> <laughs> because there are no because teammates. There's, there's no sure. teammates to like joke around. And, <laughs> And, and do all the silly, funny stuff and the jokes. And um, I think every guy, that's the first thing they talk about. They talk about uh, missing the guys in that atmosphere and the different personalities. You think about how many people you've been around and how many people you experience from different parts of the world. And it's always been really exciting. Will you miss competition? Will you miss pressure? Well, there's a lot of pressure in blacksmithing, you know. One, I've learned that. One, yeah, one wrong move and you can really mess something up. But, uh, yeah, I probably will miss it. Uh, you never know until, um, like I said, you've, it's the one thing I've known since I was, you know, a teen. And a lot of times as, as a hockey player and in, in North America, it's, it's a, we were going all year round on the ice workout. Um, in Switzerland, you don't really skate. They don't have ice in the summers, but you don't. For us, everything was spread out, and you go back, and and it's hockey, hockey, hockey all the time. Mm -hmm. So, to not have to think about that and be able to do things for myself will be, will be really exciting. So an afternoon like this is also a good distraction for the hair. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love. I don't really take hockey home with me that much. So my wife. Is, You've never had. No, not really. Um, I, when I go home, I like to be with my family. I don't watch hockey. I don't talk about hockey. My wife, like, she enjoys coming to games, but she does, she's the same. So we, get to, we can go for hikes and do yoga, um, spend time with the kids and experience everything Switzerland right now has to offer. You know, go to the mountains, Winter Thirst Skills Park for the kids. Like, there's so much to do, and mm -hmm. um, that's nice. Job brushing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My first curl. It's My a little, uh, first curl. It's a little to the r right or left, or however <laughs> you want to look at it. <laughs> Now we're talking. Great job. <laughs> what a sidekick. <laughs> if your sons would draw a picture of you and uh, uh, 
we would compare it with the picture that uh, people know you on the ice, what would be the biggest difference? Is there any difference at all? Uh, me uh, off the ice, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't get angry. <laughs> I don't get angry off the ice at all, really. Um, Not at all, if no, if they, even if they provoke. No, I mean, the, ki the kids know you have to be, that I'm, you know, my wife and I are the boss and, and we're firm, but um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm steady, a rock, my wife likes to call me and she can lean on me and, um, but yeah, we, we don't, we don't argue, fight, so it's, it's, it's nice, um, but the, I think when you're competing in that environment on the ice, um, you know, it brings the, the fire out of, I'm, you know, fire out of a relatively quiet person because um, I'm not the most vocal guy outside the hockey rink. When I get around the guys, I am a little more. Um, they'll probably tell you that. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, there's a hockey Kevin and a regular Kevin, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> a regular Kevin, yeah. that sounds good. Yeah. Uh, you're looking uh, into a bright future with you being a retired hockey player, having a wonderful shop for your woodwork, for your metalwork. Uh, will you cry one tear when you uh, put your stick away? No, no, I won't. I won't because it's been it's been a very great experience. It's just run its course and uh, I've got, you know, a few months left to really enjoy it and give everything I have and hopefully win again because last year was a really nice experience. And then, you know, just look forward to the future. But it's uh, it will be nice being on my own plan and not having to think about where we're moving <laughs> you know, when when we have to leave Canada and we can kind of just uh, settle in on the land. No more nomadic yeah, lifestyle yeah, anymore. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Who knows? We might. <laughs> we might not enjoy it that much. We're not used to it. So <laughs> I hope we do. <laughs> there must be a thousand things on your uh, homework, inking uh, bucket list. Can you give us a few examples on what you want to do when you have this never-ending time? Oh man, um, I want to become a better blacksmith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I have started a car business that will be up and running soon, so I'd like to apprentice there too. Um, I've always had some classic cars. You know, I've started collecting them a few a little while ago, and and I'd want to be able to work on every aspect of those. So apprentice in that. Um, so I'll be around the shop. I'll still be working in a sense, but only a few days a week. Um, and really enjoying it, taking mm -hmm. that on. So, I, I mean, there's lots of stuff I want to do and there's lots of stuff my wife want to do and we just have to balance it. <laughs> so it'll be nice. Looks pretty good. Beautiful. Here we go, so, blade time. Blade time. <laughs> Uh, I love it. It's something that, uh, I, I mean, a little experience. It's something I've never done before, some twists, some bends. So this is all knowledge that I didn't have before and I'm very thankful to Bruno, obviously. So I'm, I'm hoping I, to come back and maybe, you know, learn some more things. So thank you, I appreciate it. Danke vielmal. <laughs> Danke vielmal, very nice. So it was today, your first curl, your first bend and your first twist. Twist. That's what you learned today, basically? Yeah, it sounds like some dance moves, but <laughs> it's uh, this beautiful thing came out of it. And I mean, three, four hours, and it's, it's amazing what you can make. And so, so Kevin. Shop it, Nutellis. Do it yourself. <laughs>